Hello! Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to create your own custom skins for Blasphemous 1. In this video, I'll show you how to download and use the Blasphemous Skin Editor, how to make your exported skins appear in-game, and how to upload your skin to the community repo so anyone can use it. If you just want to know how to use custom skins which have already been made, go watch this tutorial on using the mod installer to enable custom skins. There will be timestamps in the video description for each section. First, download the skin editor from the GitHub page. You can find the link to it pinned in the resources channel of the Blasphemous Modding Discord or in the video description. Once here, navigate to the Releases tab and click on the latest release, then click on BlastSkinEditor.zip to download. Drag the folder anywhere on your computer and extract it, then run BlastSkinEditor.exe. Using the skin editor is incredibly easy and requires little to no art experience at all as it uses palette swapping. On the main screen, you can see a preview of your skin and on the left sidebar is a list of colors organized in different categories. On the bottom right is a drop-down menu which allows you to select different poses for the preview image. When you switch poses, the colors available to change will switch as well, making sure that every color available to change will be visible in your preview image. To change a color, simply click on it, and you can adjust the RGB values or input a hex code directly. You will be able to see the changes live whenever you click OK. To make a complete skin, Cycle through each preview pose and change each color until you are satisfied with the results. When you are ready to export, click File, and then Save As. This window will pop up, which will prompt you to fill in a number of fields. It's important that you follow the specific naming conventions if you intend to use the skin in-game. In the ID field, type out the skin's ID, following the format of Penitent underscore Author Initials underscore Skin Short Name in all caps. In my case, I will do Penitent underscore XT underscore Xanathar. The name is your skin's full name. You can be creative with this one. The author is your name as you want it to appear in-game and in the mod installer should you choose to upload it to the community repo. The version is the version number of this specific skin. It should start at 1.0.0 and you can incrementally increase this number if you make changes to the skin later. Once you've entered in the information, click save. To use your skin in-game, make sure you have the Custom Skins mod installed and enabled in the mod installer. Then, navigate to your Blasphemous EXE folder, typically located at C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Blasphemous. Then, open the modding folder. If you have used Custom Skins before, there will be a Skins folder here. If there is not, you can create one, making sure it is named Skins in all lowercase. Open this folder. Then. In the skin editor, click Help Open Skins Folder. It will open up a folder containing all your custom skins. Copy the folder of the skin you want to add to the skins folder, and then you can close the skin editor and launch the game modded. On the main menu, navigate to Extras and then Skin Selector, and you should be able to see your custom skin in-game. If you want your skin to appear in the mod installer and for other people to be able to use it, you'll want to add it to the community repo. To do this, first open the GitHub page for the community repo. You can find the link pinned in the resources or custom skins channel of the Blasphemous Modding Discord server or in the video description. You will need a GitHub account for this to work, so if you don't have one yet, go ahead and create one. Once here, click on the fork button at the top right of the screen, and then click on the green Create Fork button. Then, click on the Blasphemous 1 folder, and then click Add File at the top right of the screen and select Upload Files. Drag the folder of the skin you want to upload from the Skins folder into GitHub. Change the commit message from Add Files via Upload to your skin name and version, then click Commit Changes. Then, click on this Contribute button, and then open Pull Request. Then click Create Pull Request. You might have to wait a few days for your skin to appear in the mod installer, but once Democles sees the pull request, if you did everything right, he will pull it into the main branch and your skin will appear in the mod installer. Once you've uploaded a custom skin, consider sending the preview image from the exported folder to the custom skins channel of the Blasphemous Modding Discord server to show everyone what you've added and claim a unique role. If you run into any issues using the skin editor or uploading custom skins, please join the Blasphemous Modding Discord server to get help from developers and other experienced modders. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider checking out these other two tutorials on setting up the mod installer and playing Blasphemous in multiplayer. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your custom skins!